Hey everyone, I've been meaning to make this video anyway, but what happened two days ago really just made me get in this mood. I had my hard drive crash on me, my system drive, and luckily I have a backup system. Now I hadn't backed up my system drive in a long time, but the only thing I lost really were the programs and you know I can always download the installers. But if I had lost my other drive, I haven't backed that up in a while, so I'm gonna go back that up as soon as I'm finished this video. But when you're making media, and I got a ton of these, a ton of these hard drives because I shoot high definition video and it eats up space. But for every hard drive I have, I have a second hard drive just for backup because if you lose one drive, there goes the video. So my system is, I label each of these. I'm not sure if you can read that, but I think it says, yeah, mirror one. So I have a work drive that I work everything off of, and then I have the mirror drive, and then when everything's done, I save everything back to the mirror drive. The mirror drive, when I actually capture my video, both the videos go to, or a copy of the video goes to both hard drives, and then I work off of the work drive and then save everything to the mirror drive, and then I burn all that data on the work drive to a Blu-ray recordable disc and then delete everything off the work drive. It's a workflow that works for, for me. And also sometimes if it's very, very important, I'll store the Blu-ray disc off site with a relative or a friend. And that's in case my house catches on fire or something like that. I don't lose everything. Um, again, I use these discs. This is really just a part of my archive. All these discs, all these, our, our video over the years, actually they're, they're DVD-Rs, but nowadays I burn the Blu-ray. But all of these, without that, you know, you're screwed. And even if, even if it's just audio, you should also maybe even get web hosting to back that up onto an FTP server. That's the first thing that I do when I get home. I put everything onto the FTP server along with the two hard drives. Now that's just for audio. For video, I can't do that. But for audio, because the files are relatively small compared to video, I can do that. And it's a system that works for me. It saved my ass this time. And, you know, everything's great until it's gone. So that's my two cents on the issue. Leave some tips if you have another system, maybe better than mine. That'd be awesome. Just, uh, comment in the box and if you like the video definitely hit like and subscribe this has been adam for realhomerecording.com